To finish off the for look last layer series, in this video I'll be showing you all of the corner permutation algorithms on the Megamix. Alright, so this first corner permutation case is a clockwise three corner cycle. So it goes like this, so R prime, B R prime, R B R, R prime F prime, R B R prime, R prime F, B R R like that. This second three corner permutation case is an anti-clockwise cycle of three corners like this and it goes R prime F prime B R prime R B R R prime F R B R prime R prime B R R like that. This next three corner permutation case is where we have three corners that need to be uh, permuted in a clockwise direction, cycled in a clockwise direction, and the two corners that are already solved aren't adjacent to one another. So the algorithm is B R prime, R prime U L U prime, R prime U L prime U prime, and then R two B R like that. This last three corner cycle case is where the three corners need to be cycled anti-clockwise and we have the two corners that are already permuted here and here. So the algorithm is B R prime, R two prime, U L U prime, R U L prime U prime, R B R like that. Okay, so this first four corner permutation case is where we have these two corners that need to be swapped and these two corners that need to be swapped. And the algorithm for this is uh, hold it from this angle and do L prime, R U two R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime, R U prime R prime L like that. This second four corner permutation case is where we have these two that need to be swapped and these two that need to be swapped. And so we hold the cube like this, hold the puzzle like this, and do R U R prime U, R prime U prime R F prime, R U R prime U prime. R prime F R two U prime R two prime U R U prime like that. This final four corner permutation case is where we need to swap these two and these two. So these two need to be swapped and these two need to be swapped. And the algorithm for this goes like R two U R prime U prime rotate R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime rotate back R U prime R two prime like that. Okay, so now we arrive at the five corner cycle uh, permutation cases, and there are eight cases where we need to cycle five corners for corner permutation. So this first case is where we need to cycle all five corners, one place anti-clockwise. So this one needs to go here and so on for all five of the corners, and the algorithm is this. So it's F, R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, F prime, R prime, and then rotate y prime, r prime, u prime, r, u prime, r prime, u2, r, b, r, and then u prime to finish. This second case is where we need to cycle all five corners, one position in the clockwise direction, and the algorithm is essentially going to be doing two u permutations. So we're going to do a u permutation from any angle, so r, u, r prime, u, r prime, u prime, r2, u prime, r prime, u, r prime, u, r, and then we're going to do a U, and then do the same algorithm again, and then U. And you will find that with really nice finger tricks, this can be executed really quickly, even though it's a lot of moves. So this next case is where we need to cycle five corners in an anti-clockwise direction again, but it is in two positions um, for each corner. So previously this corner needed to go to this spot anti-clockwise, now this one needs to go to this back spot. So what we're going to do is the algorithm R2, U2, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U prime, R2 prime, then Y prime rotation, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U prime, R2 prime, U2, R2, U prime, like that. If we need to cycle five corners, two positions in the clockwise direction, what we do is the inverse of the previous algorithm, which goes R2 prime, U2 prime, R2, U, R2 prime, U, R2, then Y, R2, U, R2 prime, U, R2, U2 prime, R2 prime, and then U to finish. 
This next five corner cycle algorithm is where we have two pairs of matching corner pieces on our Megaminx. And to recognize uh, which algorithm we have to do for this case, we look at this piece, which isn't involved in either of the two matching corner sticker uh, patterns. And we see whether it needs to go to the left or to the right. And in this first case, this corner needs to go to the right position here. And so we use the algorithm R2, U2 prime, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U2 prime and then cancel the R2 prime into a T permutation. So we go R prime U, R prime U prime, R prime F R2 U prime, R prime U prime R U, R prime F prime. Again, we have a case where we have two sets of headlights on our Megamix, and we look at this corner, which isn't involved in either of these two sets, and we see that here it needs to go to the left position, so from here to here. And to solve this case, we execute it from this angle. We start the algorithm from this angle and we do R prime U2 R U prime, R prime U2 R U2 prime, R prime U prime R U2 prime, R prime U R U2 prime, R prime U R like that. So these last two cases on the Megaminx for five corner permutation are very difficult to recognize and it's for this reason that I'm showing them simultaneously. So the first thing that you need to know about recognizing these cases is that there are no matching headlights uh, around any sides of the Megaminx. So that, that is, there's no pairs of matching colors on a side like that. So that's how we recognize that we have one of these cases, but of course we need to be able to differentiate between these two cases. And the way in which I recognize these is by looking for this pattern with the corner stickers. Um, so I've got this corner piece back here. I've got these two matching and these two matching. So these pink ones match and these yellow ones match like this. And um, in this case over here, I have the same thing. So I have the two pink stickers matching and the two yellow stickers matching like so. So again, just to reiterate, we have the same corner pattern on these two puzzles. Two yellow stickers, two pink stickers, two yellow stickers, two pink stickers. And then the way we, in which we differentiate between these two cases is by looking, or the way in which I differentiate is by looking at this corner piece and figuring out whether it needs to go to this position or to this position. So the simplest way is to see if there's two matching colors here and here. And if this sticker matches this sticker, I execute the algorithm for this case from this orientation. So it's R2, U2 prime, R2, U prime, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R2 prime, like that. If this corner piece needs to go over to this position, that is this sticker and this sticker do not match, then we need to do the following. So I do a Y2 prime rotation and then do R2, U2, R2 prime, U, R2, U prime, R2 prime, U, R2, U prime, R2 prime, U, R2, U2, R2 prime, like that.